This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, October 26th. In the stock index futures, we are seeing lower prices this morning. However, we are a bit off of the overnight lows. We had third quarter gross domestic product coming in up 4.9% when an increase of 4.2% was expected. Personal consumption expenditures a little uh, less than anticipated, increasing 4% when up 4.1% was anticipated. Durable goods orders up 4.7%, much better than the estimate of a 1% gain. Jobless claims about as expected. We had September pending home sales up 1.1% when a 1% decline was predicted. So the gains that we uh, did see off of the lows are likely to be limited with the uncertainties of the situation in the Mideast remaining. and In fact, that is the dominant fundamental currently. Currency markets, the dollar index is higher and hit its high for the day when the mostly stronger than expected U.S. economic reports were released at 730. While the greenback is still higher today, it is lower than when the U.S. bullish economic reports were released, and that should be viewed as a sign of weakness. Also, in recent weeks, the dollar index has only a, seen a limited flight to quality flow of funds coming into it, and that is also a sign of uh, potential long-term pressures for the dollar index. We had the European Central Bank at its policy meeting today, keeping rates unchanged. Uh, that was as anticipated, and we had the Japanese yen uh, weakening in the cash market, uh, hitting a fresh one-year low at 150.78 yen to the dollar. So this is prompting uh, speculation that at some point the uh, monetary officials in Japan could come in with some type of intervention. And in the interest rate futures markets, seeing futures performing better than the news would suggest uh, trading higher. However, longer term, the outlook is still a bit more cloudy, especially with the flight to quality influence really not there over the last three weeks. So the interest rate futures markets are very much underperforming the, the news with the exception of uh, some gains today. Also, the probability of the Fed keeping rates unchanged at the upcoming November 1st meeting is now virtually at 100%. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.